I'm gonna run this 5K in under this time, yeah. or like I just I signed up for the Broad Street Run, which is 10 miles, but yeah. it's not until March. You have time. Are you ready to get back in the exercise groove? Well, the YMCA can help. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Local Edition. With me this hour is Joanna Zaremba. She's Senior Health and Wellness Director for the Downtown YMCA branches. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. One of the challenges that many people face is if you haven't been in an exercise routine for a while or if you've never been one, in one, is actually starting, setting those goals on a regular basis and mm -hmm. really getting motivated. Definitely. It's, it's really tough, especially when you get out of the swing or if you've never really done it, to get into it. And you have ways in which you can actually help people do this. And you say one of the best things that you can do is actually talking with another person to set some goals that are attainable. Exactly. We have some staff um, at the Y that are available to sit one-on-one -on -one with members and to talk to them basically about what they want to do, what they want to accomplish. Sometimes just hearing yourself um, kind of express what you're interested in doing and what has worked for you in the past going to take to make it happen this time. Okay, let's talk a little bit about Smart Start and breaking things down into small goals. goals. Smart Start is your program. Definitely. All the branches have some version of the Smart Start program. Um, at our branches we do as well. Gives the person a chance to sit down again and have a conversation about what they're interested in working on. Gives them some one-on-one -on -one time to work through some of those details as well as to get a basic program to get you started. So they feel like they're equipped um, to begin the process. Do you think that sometimes people set and then they don't achieve it, they feel that sense of disappointment and then they quit their routine? Definitely. I think if you set a big goal and you're not really sure how to achieve it, then you can feel a sense of failure if you don't meet it. Meet it. So um, by having someone to guide you a little bit to set a goal that you could achieve or at least many goals along the way to a larger goal, it can really help you to be successful in the long run and just to feel good about what you're doing. In starting an exercise routine for the first time or getting back into one, what are some of the questions that we should be asking ourselves? It's a good question. Place to start is really to think about, you know, why are you doing it? You know, what's your motivation? Uh, do you have an event that's coming up? Did your doctor tell you that you need to, you know, lose some weight um, to improve your health condition? Are you just wanting to feel a little bit better, maybe burn off some stress? So I think that's probably the first place to start is you know, what's your, what's your motivation, what's your intention? And then from there I would say, think about, you know, what's your life like, think on a realistic level. You know, do you have kids, do you have, you know, work demands? You know, how could you fit just a little bit of activity into your um, daily routine? That's probably, and then, you know, what do you enjoy? You know, what kind of, what sounds kind of like fun? You know, workouts don't always sound like fun to some people, but, you know, what could you do that might actually, you know, maybe bring a smile to your face, you know, would it be working out with friends? Maybe going to, you know, a, a Zumba class, which is kind of a dance-based kind of international dance class. Or um, maybe it's just, you know, getting on the treadmill with uh, an iPod, going with some good music. So really, it's very individual, and if you try and just pick something because you think you'll burn a lot of calories, but you're really not necessarily going to be successful. Well, it depends on the person. Some okay. people are really motivated and, yeah. you know, they might just say, hey, I'm going to reach this goal. I'm going to do it, you know. Um, but for a lot of people who are not used to this kind of um, activity and, you know, change in their lives, they need a little bit more support. And so maybe friends could help them or maybe at least doing that activity that's enjoyable on some level can help them stick with it. Because we can usually start something, but, you know, do we continue? That's really the question. And that's really the goal. Is yeah. to Let's talk about some of the specifics about things that are actually available. You mentioned things like Zumba, which is a fun kind of dance mm -hmm. aerobic type class, but you have other things available as well. We do. Uh, we have everything from personal training sessions. We have a really neat class. It's called TRX. That's a suspension um, training course. Lots of fun, really dynamic, and it's adaptable to all levels. Completely different from probably anything anyone's ever done before. Lots of fun. Uh, we have spinning classes. We have, of course, a beautiful facility with lots of great equipment. But I really think it's the relationships that you 
ability, whether they be in classes or with the person next to you on the treadmill, that really will help you, you know, stick with it. We just have a short time left, but you have two different branches where people can visit your Central Branch and your Walnut Street Branch. Bottom line is, get up and try. It can really make a difference. Exactly. Come see us. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. We've been talking with Joanna Zaremba, Senior Health and Wellness Director for the Downtown YMCA branches. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Local Edition. really not